What I'm going to teach you today has never been taught on YouTube. It's about creating a modern controller on Symfony and PrestaShop or using modern controller with PrestaShop. Okay, so what is the deal here? Uh, the 1.7.5 introduced the new feature called uh, admin controller using uh, the Symfony framework. So uh, this is what I'm going to teach you today. And let's get into this so what you need to do is very simple just follow me and at the end of this video we'll know how to create one so here i have my very first file which is composer.json if you don't know what is a composer it's exactly like a package.json on the javascript world so you define your package your uh, some author stuff dependencies etc and it will be used later to compile a code that will be used with the global application okay so here let me just introduce what is going on here we have the name it's like the i think it's the name also in the package.json you define the name of your package does it require any other dependencies uh, the auto load is uh, like uh, how where we can find uh, your the uh, the code of your bundle of your module uh, so this is repeat peer related stuff at composer uh, and called psr4 auto loading uh, some configurations and some types and uh, the type is quite important because here we're telling <coughs> sorry we're telling the, that this is a PrestaShop module, okay? So the next thing I would like to do here is get close to my microphone and create a new directory under my directory of under my module directory, and I call this an SRC, SRC, not us. So focus. And here, create a controller directory. So SRC controller, and inside this controller, I'll create a new uh, PHP file. And here, I'm I'll go ahead and call it YouTube or YouTube dot, um, controller. It's quite important. Uh, dot PHP, and this is very important. You need to concatenate the keyword controller in the name of your file, okay? Uh, that it could get compiled correctly. All right. So here, I'll go ahead and start a PHP file, the classic logic, and I create a class called uh, YouTube on a comma case here, and it will extend a framework. Uh, well, I forget the class name. We could look for it other documentation, no worries. So it must be one of these ones. It must be framework bundle framework, whatever. Uh, yep, so you need to import it and it's coming from the PlayStation bundle controls admin framework bundle admin controller Okay, and let's uh, find the curly bracket. So at this little level here We have a valid controller in except that Presta shop does not know what to do with it. Okay, so first of all our class which is a controller here, need to have methods that will do something when the user call, for example, slash YouTube, right? This is why I'm going to create a public function here. Let's go ahead and do function. Okay, come on, do autocomplete, whatever, public function. I'm going to call this, for example, index, I'm having trouble with this keyboard index action and it won't accept any parameters for now and we we'll define some returns later here so here we have a convention that we need to concatenate the keyword action to the name of the method that it could get considered as an action or as an endpoint that symphony and prestashop could execute later okay this is basically coming from the symphony 3 i think 3.4 3.3 that uh we have what we call the notion of bundles and each bundle must define this kind of method prefixes with the action keyword okay so for now i'll go ahead and return um a response so this is coming from the presta shop not from the symphony instead and it's coming from certain HTTP foundation that allow us to return some content like hello uh, YouTube for example here and let's fix this typo hello all right so the controller is set we have an action but again yet again symphony and PrestaShop does not know what to do with this 
Here it comes what we call the routing and we are directing HTTP calls to be executed on this with a specific URL. All right, so now it's time to create this with a file called routing. So here I'll be back to the route of my module and create a new file here inside a config directory and it would be called routes.yaml. If you don't know what is YAML, it's like uh, it's like a JSON with last quote etc so here i will start by uh, defining the name so here will be youtube for example routes by the way you can call it really whatever you want and sure without any stupid characters all right so here first of all uh, you should know that the indentation is quite important on the yaml here this is why i'm going to copy this um this quickly here okay so real quick, paste this. So let me explain what's going on here. So just by the way, we have four spaces instead of tabs here. Okay, so the path will be your URL, whatever, you can type it wherever you want. The method, pretty obvious, the get, the post, post, etc. You can even put uh, twice, um, I mean, like more than one verb. You can put post, post, etc and the default so the defaults here will be the controller so the controller mean which class will execute this action oops sorry and if we look at this little level here we are basically defining the route to our module controller or admin controller sorry so here also we are concatenating this index action which is basically the method that will execute the call coming from this url okay so one more thing is missing into my controller here is that I need to define what we call a namespace and a namespace is simply similar to tell the code, tell composer to be more clear from where to load your class or your module. So here my namespace here will be, uh, will be uh, this one. Okay, just need to add a space here that things could get correct. So it's my basic module controller. And now if I move back to composer.json here and look at this part of PSR4, you could see the same code written right here. And let me just copy this. My basic module controller, it's exactly written here. So this route is kind of an alias to from where we can load this class. I will, I will stop this right here because this might can get you lost and let's carry in without code here. So we defined the route. It's pointing to YouTube and it's pointing to you to this index action. Just make sure that I write, I did write the correct name. Now it's time to test this. And to test this, we simply need to go to uh, whatever admin page of your website and in my case i call it kind of admin or something like this okay and uh yes and go slash module this is the prefix and do youtube simple as that and hit enter so this would this will happen because prestigeup does not know yet that there is a class has been added this is why we need to clear the cache pretty much all the time we add like a new admin controller Okay, so just give it a quick second that it does compile things again and let's retest this and see if this will work. So again, slash YouTube, hit enter and kaboom. Since we do see the screen mean that our class has been picked up and we are facing a little issue with the token here. So nothing dangerous, like I understand the risks and there we go. Let me make this bigger because this is good. We have the message that we did define uh, inside our new response, HTTP validation response. But this is not satisfying for an end user. So I'm going to show you next how you can customize your own template and to define your own style, etc. for the response. So instead of new response here, I'll be calling the this render and pay attention this render is not the one that we use inside the module but instead it's coming from the symphony word and this is the whole name the full namespace of this method it's coming from framework bundle controller controller trait okay so this render 
It's kind of similar to the one used in the module because it does accept what we call a template here and accept also uh, parameters that will be passed to the template. Uh, this is the signature. Okay, so the template here, I'll go ahead and quickly again copy some code just to speed up things. Um, by the way, if you look to the documentation, this is false, people. If you copy this, this won't work. And I'll explain this later. So I'll copy the same code and just update some stuff here. So my basic module templates admin and demo dot uh, HTML twig. I go ahead and rename this to a uh, YouTube and we need to create this twig. So if you don't know what is a twig, it's similar to uh, Smarty, but in the symphony world. OK, so here I create a new HTML twig and do some lorem stuff here so quick. Come on, do. OK, thank you. And let's move back to this. Everything is set up correctly. Now, if I do refresh this page, look what will happen. OK, this is a huge. Um, let's make this bigger. He said that template module blah, blah, blah is not defined. I mean, you cannot find that template. So the problem here, instead of this forward slash, you need to do, um, sorry. Uh, wait. It must be uh, a forward slash. What second? Okay, so I think I lost my mind here. So my module, my basic module slash templates admin and uh, dot html dot twig. Because here we need to concatenate the views directory that should work. Okay, there we go. So we have the message that we did right inside our um, our template, our trick file. But the only missing issue here is that we don't have the global layout. We don't have the menu, uh, all these fancy things. We have only like stupid text that do nothing. Okay, so to fix this, again, we'll be using uh, what we call the template extending or template hierarchy. Uh, so uh, the same as we have on a smarty when we have extend uh, like them for example the layout dot dot twig or dot template okay focus um on on what on um on smarty so we have something like this we have okay crap we don't have any extend here um both layout columns yes do we have an extend? Bloody hell. All right. Oh, let's go to this page. And there we go. So we have this on Smarty. And we have the same thing on Twig. Okay. So we do extend. Extend. Come on. Extend. And we need to define what kind of template that we are going to extend. And here we have a very specific template that we need to extend. It's coming from PrestaShop admin layout. And I'll go ahead and simply paste this thing here. So this is the template, the parent template that will be extending and will be overriding a certain block. And this block is called content. And inside these curly braces, you can type whatever you want. So here, go ahead and type our lorem text again, refreshing the page. And there we go. So we have all the things, the default things here. Also, we have this debugging bar available for us and we can do our funny things. OK, so um, from this point here, we can really code only on Symfony because we can rely fully on the APIs of Symfony, on doctrines, on the forms, etc., etc. So uh, uh, maybe on another video, I could uh, do like full example with form submission, etc. On, uh, on this. Okay, so um, this is the end of this video. I hope that uh, this was enjoyable and beneficial for all of you. Uh, again, if you like this video, please don't hesitate to leave a thumb up and to leave a couple of good words. And that's it. Peace be your opinion.